here today to talk about how we are using the Lippy View and Lippy Flow systems in our practice for patients with meibomian gland disease. The Lippy View is where we start. It's a key tool to help us educate our patients, especially patients who are asymptomatic with their dry eye disease. The black and white images are easy to capture. Our technicians are tasked to take these images and then they start the education process. While they're showing the patients the images, they are also being educated concurrently. What about you, Jay? We find it's very useful. Uh, patients can really understand when we show them what a normal meibomian gland should look like uh, and they see that they have foreshortening of the glands or dropout, then it's very easy for them to understand what problems they have and the urgency really in treatment so that they don't lose their glands. And we couple that with other tests. We, we're expressing their glands so we can see if they have um, non-obvious meibomian gland disease. And even patients who don't have a lot of dropout, uh, I think nowadays we realize that we don't want to wait for them to drop out. If we try to express the glands and we don't see any oil or we see that kind of uh, discharge where it's ropey or their tear film starts to have all that debris in it, we know that those glands are not healthy. And we want to treat them before they develop structural changes. Just like if you, if you went to a dentist you wouldn't want the dentist to say, well, we're not going to do a flossing. You still have teeth. Let's wait for them to drop out. I think that's a, a, a better way of thinking. I completely agree. I also feel it's critically important to tune up the ocular surface and stabilize the tear film prior to cataract surgery. This will help us obtain more reliable information to plug into our sophisticated IOL formulas to get as close to our refractive goal as possible. Nobody wants refractive surprises, especially if a patient has paid out of pocket for an advanced technology implant. So I work up my patients for dry eye disease. Everyone who is a cataract consult gets a complete dry eye workup. I discuss this with them, tune up their surface, and then bring them back for their preoperative measurements. How about you, Jay? I do the same, and it's amazing how many times the biometry has mm -hmm. changed on the repeat after they have a, a, a more pristine ocular surface. Uh, I think that's really critical, not only in terms of the measurements, but also as to how the patient will see afterwards, because if they have fluctuating vision or it creates scatter, they're not going to be happy with uh, their advanced lens implant. Actually, I presented a paper not too long ago where 40% of the time I changed my surgical plan after Lipoflow. So typically I wait two to three weeks after I do a Lipoflow, bring the patients back for biometry. How about you? What interval do you wait? The same, and, and I usually put them on some sort of maintenance package mm -hmm. at, you know, for, for home use. I might be adding an omega-3, I might be adding a prescription drop, certainly going to be ha having them use artificial tears, maybe some heat. So we, we're trying to really tune them up as quickly as possible. In, in that setting, uh, biometry, I probably will use some pulse steroid as well because I really want to get rid of the inflammatory mm -hmm. component as quickly as I can and rehabilitate the patient. I do the same too. I place them on a short course of a steroid to kind of get that surface as quiet as possible and then design a long-term treatment plan. But I tell my patients they have two diseases, one that's ongoing for life for which they need treatment forever, and those are the words I use, and of course cataract which we can cure in parentheses. So I agree, patient education, prevention, early treatment, and being proactive to get the best and most reliable data for great surgical outcomes are key. And it's really important to educate the asymptomatic patient because sometimes, you know, they're the least compliant. Mm -hmm. And I think if you could show them uh, the, the reasons and explain to them, then people really do understand. And most patients with no science background can understand what I call the piano keys, you know, in the lip of you images. As the adage goes, a picture says a thousand words. So if keys are missing, they've got disease, and we have options to treat them. It's great that we have so much in our armamentarium now for treatment of dry eye patients. Thank you very much.